mi gente? What up, what up? It's your boy Almega. Welcome to a brand new comic crusade special. That's right. We got one more show. You've seen him here twice before when we were talking about what was hot on that box. Which one red box? Then we were checking. We were checking out what was cracking on Crackle, right? Well, that's fire. That amazing shows. But right now, right now, it's about warming your heart, sign, sign for, for, for the ladies in the building too, you know? Uh, if, if for you metal guys out there that need something to calm you down, you know, after this heat, after you mow along, you want something to make you feel a little, you know, good inside, we got some chicken soup for the soul for September 2023. And we've got the one and only, the deacon uh, of the chicken soup for the soul family right here, Mr. Chris Woolsey, how you doing? <laughs> I am doing fantastic, Al. Thanks for having me back again. This is outstanding. Nah, but I love having you here. Month after month, man, we hooked up, bro. You've been just, just blowing my mind, keeping me thoroughly entertained, especially since I have so much free time after I finish editing. It's like, it's the most, it's the best thing to just sit down on my sofa, pop open my app, have options like Redbox, Crackle, and Chicken Soup for the Soul, and be able to watch amazing programming at no cost to me everybody's hiking up their prices guess how much this cost folks free free 90 free free 90 free, free is my favorite price yeah free 90 free Woo! all right chris chris and to put them on to the greatness of why this free 90 free is so awesome why they need to get these app the app because it's available on their favorite in the app store tv website right here folks we're going to cover it right now yes Some we are goodness from chicken soup for the soul all right folks let's dig in oh man no you did not do I, you I, remember hand i oh man do i remember this i mean not that i was born in the era of but in the reruns <laughs> yep, yep me too me too oh so a lot of people don't know, this was actually, so Davy and Goliath was a show that was sponsored by the Lutheran Church, and they hired Art Clokey, who created Gumby and Pokey, who next to like Ray Harryhausen is probably one of the masters of stop motion animation uh, in the entertainment industry. Uh, so many things about this show, as well as Gumby and Pokey, were unbelievably groundbreaking and have been mimicked and imitated and homaged uh, by stop motion animators ever since. He he is a legend. And um, this, this show, it, it's just super sweet. It's super heartwarming. Uh, Davy and Goliath are a, 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 a talking dog and his owner. And uh, the owner, Davy, gets into all kinds of scrapes and Goliath. And a lot of times Davy's dad has to like get him and pull him out of the scrape and then they talk about you know how uh god uses even the the crazy things in our lives uh for our good and his glory and it's just a, it's a it's a sweet show um it also had uh some uh stars involved as well so hal smith who you might have known as otis on the andy griffith show uh was the voice of the dog goliath a lot of people don't know that uh -huh. Yeah, and then yeah. Dick Beals was the voice of Davy, and he was uh, on the Jetsons. He was um, uh, George's boss uh, from Spacely Sp Sprockets. Really? Yep, oh, the one who was always yelling at him. Yeah. No way. Yeah, but I remember this. This was, this was cool, and I just always dug how it looked. I'm like, I wonder how much, as a kid, how do you do this? Like, how much time do you, like, how? I oh, just with my toys and I like, hope that they would move. Like <laughs> it's so time consuming, uh, but like just so cool to see what what the end result was of all that yeah. hard work. A yeah. friend of mine did something that was only seconds, and, and, and it was hundreds and hundreds of pictures that he had to take. I was like, oh my god! I, yeah, my I, buddy Sean <laughs> is a uh, stop motion animator, and uh, he does um, music videos and all kinds of cool stuff. But man, when he tells me how long it takes to do like a three minute music video in stop motion. Uh, it just blows your minds, but uh, check out uh, Boy Scout Creative. Um, he's He does amazing work. Awesome, awesome. 
But folks, you definitely should check this out if you haven't put your kids onto this. It really is wholesome, entertaining, and, and again, just as he said, a master at work with how the animation is done. Absolutely. Oh my God. I was talking to someone about classic TV shows the other day, and I swear to God, I brought this. So who remembers this? No way. I threw in two things for you this month. This one, and there's one we'll talk about later. But, oh, dude, Fred Dreyer in Hunter, like maybe the best TV detective ever. He's just so good. And Stephanie Kramer, I had an unhealthy crush on her as a uh, young kid. Um, she went on to be on CSI. He was on NCIS. Um, they're legends. And this show was so good. She's so definitely good. one of the reasons Family, why I love Brunettes. Just so fun. She's definitely one of the reasons why I love Brunettes. You know what I mean? That is no lie. That is no lie. Woman, well, great show. I mean, not meant for kids, but it was it was a good show. I, I don't know what just means. I, I just saw that dynamic, that action. And I also found that sometimes they were funny because even though they looked serious, they yeah. had they, they, they had a great dynamic that you don't see quite often on TV. No, but this was like one of the like there's like TJ Hooker, there was the Fall Guy, and then Hunter. Like th yeah. these were like three of the best. The Fall Guy, great so wow. Look at this though, classic folks, classic. You haven't watched this, you guys gotta watch it for real. This is a gem, Sapphire and Steel. Did you know about this? Never. I didn't either. I don't know how, I, like, what I this? mean, I'm not quite as big of a sci-fi nerd as you are, but I'm a pretty big sci-fi nerd. And I had never heard of this series. So this, was it a series from the, from the uh, late 60s, early 70s? And it's starring David McCollum, who was uh, one of the leads in The Great Escape, one of my all time favorite movies of all time starring Steve McQueen and a million other amazing people. Um, and then Joanna Lumley there, who is ridiculously beautiful. And you might not recognize her. She was Patsy from Absolutely Fabulous uh, no. later in life. I mean, that was like 40 years later. Uh, my sister Kelly is obsessed with Ab Fab. And um, I used to see her all the time. I never watched that show, but uh, I recognized as soon as I was like, Oh my gosh, that's the lead from AbFab. Um, um, and it's super fun. So it's basically like, it's like Doctor Who meets Heart to Heart. Uh, oh, so there's- Another classic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. But there's like this, this intergalactic bad guy who's trying to screw up the time-space continuum. Uh, you know, TV, the science doesn't make sense. But, um, and Sapphire and Steel are sent in as like, intergalactic special agents to stop this uh bad guy from destroying eternity or whatever the yeah it it's crazy but so fun if you like doctor who and if you like like late 60s sci-fi um this is this is definitely a classic google it and there are like a million fan sites about this show really? yeah I mean, again, this is the first time in my life. But yeah, listen, I definitely want to check it out. Why not? I love being finding new things. And again, this is with things that are going on. This is what we're going to have to start doing: finding these old gems that that have gone missing and lost in time. <laughs> it might not be new, but it's new to you, right? New's new, baby. Shit. That's it. The What's this? The beauty of oh, you guys have an original, original. You guys be rocking the originals, and folks, you know what happens when they have an original? They give us a treat, right? A treat for us all, so that way we get a little bit more of a view of what this is about. Chris has been kind enough to allow us to show the trailer to Beauty of Love. I'm over from Chicken Soup for the Soul. Check it out. I'd be honored if you'd try my skincare line, Vermont Botanicals, handcrafted by Jill. I know hot and trendy has been our sweet spot, but what about hot and cozy? It's at least worth a call. Hi, Jill. It's Emma Reynolds. Emma, of Classically Emma. Thank you for your samples. We are intrigued. Why don't you come to Vermont? Classically Emma on location. Well, look out. So nice to finally meet you in person. Oh, I'd like to apologize for my brother and business partner, Jesse. It wasn't quite the greeting I had in mind. Working with an influencer, it dilutes our brands. It's not fake. 
kitchen away. You'll see. This is my favorite soap. What do you think? Very impressive. Welcome to Vermont Botanicals. I think Vermont Botanicals is key. So, are you confident they're ready? Jill will be on board, but her brother might not be as ready to leap. What makes a product special? It's when it touches something in us, something meaningful. Is that a, another reply to your video? It's been doing great. I am going to make maple body butter with uh, maple essential oil. How about blueberry pancakes for breakfast? How about not just body butter, but an entire maple line for Classically Emma? Seriously? Are you joking? So that's a yes? Yes! <laughs> what would you both say to having a little announcement party? Do you make lots of wildflower bracelets? I haven't wanted to make one for a very long time. Edward Hawk? What is he doing here? Have you signed anything yet? No, actually, we have the contract right here. We're gonna make some money together. I don't know how Edward found out about the party. He would make your company an overnight success. He would make us huge. It's not worth what it would cost. Which is what? You. I want to partner with you. I am pleased to announce that Vermont Botanicals and Classically Emma have united to create our very own maple skincare line. You gave me a glimpse of what true happiness really feels like. Well, folks, there you go. Little, little lovey-dovey stuff going on here. Right? Sometimes you just need a little bit of that, you know? It's, uh, this one's, it's, it's super fun. So Chicken Soup for the Soul has original rom-coms like this uh, every single month. Um, we uh, get a steady pipeline from Real One Studios. And it's just, these titles... People can't watch them enough. Like they're just, they're really well done. And there's all kinds of uh, up and coming stars that are in them. So it's very fun. Uh, the Beauty of Love uh, starring um, Katarina Eichenberg from Monarch and uh, Jonathan Stoddard from uh, The Young and the Restless. Um, it's, it's exactly what you want when you're watching this kind of movie. It's super sweet, super fun. And uh, check it out. There we go. There we go. Well, you know, I, I have to find a spot for someone to watch it with then, because I'm not going to watch that alone, right? There you go. <laughs> the Chosen. And they're, and they're not talking about me or Chris, folks. All right. That, that way, you know, you know, all right, just in case. So what's this? Who's popular? Who's chosen? He so happy as hell to be chosen, too. Right? So The Chosen is... Uh, th this is a series that's very near and dear to my heart. My, my family and I, we watch this uh, together. This is a, uh, a series that is based on the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. And I am a huge critic of Christian media. A lot of it is not very good. A lot of it is not engaging. It's cheesy. It's heavy handed. I have to tell you, I can say unequivocally that this, in my opinion, is the best piece of Christian media from the last 30 years. Oh, it wow. is so well done. So it's uh, created by Dallas Jenkins, uh, who writes, directs, produces, you name it, uh, much of this. His dad, Jerry Jenkins, created the Left Behind book series. And then when he got old enough, he was like, look, I don't want to live in my dad's shadow. I want to I want to go out my own way. Created this series, crowdfunded the first season, and it was the largest crowdfunding project in the history of crowdfunding oh, season wow. one was such a gigantic success they were able to parlay that into a second season the third season is now airing and uh they're filming the fourth as we speak oh, uh, wow. everything about so uh jonathan rumi here uh plays jesus he was just in the jesus revolution movie which you might have heard of which was a huge uh indie hit about Calvary Chapel and um, sort of the Jesus movement of the 60s and 70s. Uh, he was the lead in that. Elizabeth Tabish. That shit. I, like, yeah. I love tacos, man. You got to put me on, man. Shit. Elizabeth Tabish plays uh, Mary Magdalene, and she is from the Pierce Brosnan series, The Sun, and uh, is ridiculously beautiful. And her 
performance. I, I got to tell you, when when Jesus called Mary Magdalene in the pilot episode, I was ugly crying so hard. I needed an <laughs> Aderade IV by the end of the episode. I can't say enough good things about this. We've got all of season one. Uh, you've got to check it out. Talk about inspirational and um, and yet challenging at the same time. It's everything about this. The writing, performances, everything is top notch. There we go, folks. Big recommendation. And, oh, we getting more in the vault. What are we getting now? What are we getting? Because what are you guys up to? Season dose. Well, yeah. we've got season one and two on Chicken Soup for the Soul. Uh, you can also watch those on Crackle as well. You know, students are going back to college right now. Let this be a cautionary tale. Um, <laughs> this is about a college campus where a, unfortunately, a young woman is found past uh outside of the dorm known as the vault and uh somebody on the college campus they believe has done this but they don't know is it suicide was it murder every week it focuses on a different character in the dorm and uh one week you think that that person might be the hero and then the next week based on someone else's perspective that person might be the murderer it's Ooh. really fun it's sexy it's uh, it's it's just great. Um, people, this is one of our our best performing original series, and it it should. It's got a, a great cast. Um, Sydney Sweeney is in season one, uh, but we've got Audrey Whitby, who is uh, the, one of the leads on the Thundermans, the Disney Channel show. Uh, Sadie Kawano from Fresh Off the Boat. Um, it's 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 a lot of great stars before they were great stars. And um, I love it. It's great. Everything about this is fun. If you like Scream or I Know What You Did Last Summer, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, check out In the Vault, seasons one and two. You will not be sorry. Yeah, exactly. This is the type of stuff that it is, folks. And, you know, everybody loved that last Scream, and they're trying to put that back in the theaters for October. You know what I mean? It's horror's going big, and you like to love a good mystery with, with, with some jumps. In the vault is definitely for you. That's it. Oh, what, Theo Poppy? This sounds really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going on here? Theo it Poppy. is. This is the sweetest movie. Uh, I found this and I was like, oh man, I got to put this on here for Al. Uh, it is so cute. It's like, um, you know, kind of like cheaper by the dozen. It's. This guy's uh, like a he's a, like a Latin lover. He's a player. He's he's the man on the scene, and all of a sudden, his sister and brother-in-law are tragically killed in a car accident, and he finds out that that he has been named as uh, the new caretaker for this gigantic slew of nieces and nephews, and he's like, I, I'm not the I'm not the guy for the job. Um, and then, you know, he, he learns that there is more to life, uh, than just being, uh, the party man. And it's, it's really good. It's funny. Uh, Joey Dedio is the lead. Um, he was actually, you might appreciate this. He was, uh, one of the leads on Captain Planet and the Planeteers. No was, way. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the voices. Oh, snap. You know uh, what? I'll tell you right now that just with the title. Uh, Spanish people's brains will go to the gutter immediately just on the title. <laughs> <laughs> my my mind went to the gutter, but then when you say, "Oh, his sister died," oh, See, now you get it. I'm so disgusted to think like that. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Daddy, Uncle you have Daddy. made me feel like I need to take a shower after this podcast. <laughs> I'm wrong, completely, you know, completely wrong. But yeah, but, but, uh, it also has Kelly McGillis from what? Top Gun. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's really, it's really cute. If you're just looking for a sweet, heartwarming film uh, with a little Latin flavor, uh, this one. Oh, there we go. Definitely want to check it out. And, and, and especially now that I feel better, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Any single soup with a soul, I shouldn't even be thinking. It's, uh, I'm sorry, folks. That's right. <laughs> we give you a pass. There you go. And you see, folks, you know, you're going to get all that and more, that wonderful, wholesome entertainment, you know, that'll bring a smile to your face. And 
warm little feeling to your gut and heart, all available on the free Chicken Soup for the Soul TV app for your mobile, tablet, laptop, or connected TV, which is available at your favorite app store. And of or course, you can go to chickensouptv.com and you can cast to any device as well. There you go. You could cast like, like you're a fisher person. There you go, right? That's right. <laughs> I love it. Yo, Chris, man, thank you again for bringing the boom with, 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 with the, for, for the soul, you know, the warming us up. This is That's great. That's what we do, Al. That's what we do. I, I, I dig it. So I can't wait to see what, what, what Chicken Soup does, you know, on, on such a scary month. I wonder what y'all gonna do with that, especially on the original side. Cause I see you dropping the original stuff every month. So, I want, are you guys doing Halloween theme? Oh, I wonder. Let's you see. gotta, you gotta wait and see. You know, I, we talked about this before that the largest audience for crime and true crime content is actually women. So, we might have some uh, some jump scares in store uh, in October. So, I'll keep you posted. Listen, they're trying to figure out how to get rid of all of us. So, yeah, you know, that's just why. Guys, start listening so you can also start seeing the clues <laughs> in advance. Exactly. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yo, a salute to you, my brother, Chris. I appreciate you. To you, my fellow crusaders that tune in and watch, you know what I mean? Thank you and share. You know, turn on notifications. Tell your friends about us. Every month, you could check out Chris Woolsey here on the Common Crusaders channel. You know, dropping gems. And you know what they are? Free gems, the best F word in the whole world. Free, all right. So, Love with it. that, I'm out mega with the woo man, Mr. Chris Woozy. Or rather, as I started, a Deacon Woozy because he was he was warming up our soul today. Hasta la próxima. Wait, oh my god, it blacked out. That's where, later. <laughs>